Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go over how we set up uh, Google inboxes in bulk. Uh, before we were able to set up, I think it was 10 inboxes an hour or something like that with virtual assistants. And now the virtual assistants are empowered with this uh, workflow. And now we can do something like 60, 80, 100 inboxes or something like that per hour. Um, there are only I would say three manual steps in this whole workflow. We could technically cut those down with the API, but it takes longer to set up the API for each admin console than it does to just uh, do these couple of manual steps instead. So this is probably the most optimiz optimization that we've gotten to as far as uh, you know DNS setup and then Google admin setup and all of those things. And so uh, first, this whole workflow starts after the purchasing of domains. So at this point, when we start this workflow, we've already purchased the domains and we already have a Google admin console. And so we just buy the domains on GoDaddy. We use the uh, the bulk lookup here where we can search for the domains and see what's available and then just buy them in bulk. Literally just Google GoDaddy bulk and it's gonna work for you. And then we take those domains and then we put them into this spreadsheet. And so we dump all of the domains here. So basically everything in red has to be filled out before you start the workflow. And so everything here, we dump the domains here. This verification is a manual process. This DKIM is a manual process. The redirect, we enter first name, last name, username, passwords, all these things. Uh, we enter before we get started. And then we get an organizational unit ready because that is uh, the next piece that you'll do when you're importing the uh, inboxes via the CSV. And so we fill out this whole spreadsheet and it's wired up to our scenario over here. So we would have a domain ready to launch the redirect, all of this stuff filled out. And so then we're gonna go to step one to get uh, all of this started. And so simply all that happens here is we are manually taking the verification key from the Google workspace uh, and so if you don't know where that's from, this is literally uh, Google support documentation on it. We have to manually one by one enter in all of the domains and then we generate verification keys. We drop the verification keys into here and fill out all the verification keys. Then in one shot, we just press go. And then this syncs with our GoDaddy account and adds the verification key as well as the uh, MX records. And this is what it looks like. We have the verification keys, not giving away anything here. This is all really, really simple stuff. The MX records and uh, everything is set up through here. And we get all of that done in just one shot uh, with this setup right here. So then the next thing that we have to do is now that the tokens are verified, we have to go into the Google admin console and we set up the DKIM key. So then if we're looking for uh, DKIM, uh, I'm not gonna do it in our admin console because I might be giving too much away. But literally, all you have to do is after you verified it, you just have to generate a DKM key. Um, and it goes over it in this documentation, I suppose. Um, but literally, just you generate a new record, pick 2048, and then copy and paste the DKM key. Again, just drop the DKM key straight into here with everything, and you're going to be good to go. So then what we'll do is after we get the DKM key, then we move to step two over here. Now in step two, this is grabbing the DKIM key. This one is adding the DKIM key to the uh, DNS records. And so I think I can open this for us. Yes, this is exactly what it looks like. Super easy. We have the DKIM key and then we just push on. We wait, I think it's 30 seconds, oh, 60 seconds uh, to add the DMARC and everything else just because we wanna make sure that the DKIM uh, propagates. And so uh, then we just have a little bit of some wait time here. And then let me see if I can open this. Yep, perfect. So then we have our DMARC record here and then we have open tracking for um, the smart lead open tracking right here. This all gets added in one shot. This I definitely can't open. This one is used to grab our um, customer ID from GoDaddy. And then once we add our customer ID, that's how we then make another API call in GoDaddy to forward the domain. Let me see if we can look at that. And so then once we have the customer ID and then we have the domain, we can make a permanent redirect for this domain. And so then this is how we go back to, if we have growth and get like go growth we're going to go to um, growth if it gets looked up. And so then 
from a DNS perspective, everything is set up. We have our SPIF records, we have our MX records, we have our DMARC, we have DKIM, we have everything. And so now what you would do is if you go into users and this is like, uh, I don't want to show it in an admin console, but it's very easy if you look through it. If you, uh, you can add or update multiple users through a CSV file, which I see how not a whole lot of people do. Um, and so basically all you need to be able to do this is the first name, last name, username, password, and then the organizational ID. And for some reason it has to start with a backslash. So you just have to do that. So then you could just download all of that data, um, into a CSV file, and then you can just upload it back into your Google admin console. And then you don't have to worry about creating all of those users one by one. You just do it with the, the CSV. So now at this point in the process, what happens is now this automation has run and we've done a lot of these things. Uh, we'll save changes. Sure. Now what has to happen is all these user accounts have been created. We have to add profile pictures to them, which you could just bulk select them in the admin console and just add the profile pictures. That's super easy. And so now what we have to do is we have to OAuth them into smart lead. And so when we OAuth them into smart lead, um, that, I am thinking one day we will probably automate that with RoboMotion, but for now it's not worth it because it's super easy for somebody on my team to do. Um, but something that gets forgotten pretty often is to add the custom tracking. And so I've built a workflow for the custom tracking up here where now, as soon as we OAuth into them, the final thing that just needs to happen is somebody just needs to run through, I literally just have to hit play. And once they hit play, everything's gonna run completely automatically. And so I can't open uh, this up because this has my API key in it and so does this, but this is uh, in Smart Leads documentation on just getting the uh, email accounts with the users. And then we pull in that data we have an iterator to break up all that data. Literally the input looks like this. This Google sheet is literally just to keep track of data. It, you know, we, we don't actually need the, the Google sheet in this workflow. I just like to have a record of things. Then we have a text parser, which we are just using a regular expression to return all of the data after the at symbol, because I just want, if it's Eric at growthenginex.com, I want it to be just growthenginex.com so that I can get the custom tracking domain set up. Then we compose a string, which is literally in.growthenginex.com. We'd be good to go. And then this is just for more record keeping. And then this is the API that actually uh, sets it up. And uh, before I end the video, let me grab this from the Smart Lead API documentation. Yeah, and so this is the one that we use for the first one. So that's this is, this is the API that we're using uh, in here. Uh, I put the limit to like 50, I think, and we're using that one over here. And then we're using update email account at the end. And this is where we put in the custom tracking URL right here. And so sometimes my team also forgets that I want the max email to be email per day to be a hundred. So this also takes care of that because we have it set to 50. Um, no, I want the max email to be 50. And I think Smart lead defaults to like 100 or 200 or something like that. And so now we just default it to this. Uh, and so, yeah, that is the full workflow setup. Um, reach out to me on LinkedIn if you want the blueprints for setting all of these things up. Happy to provide them. And I hope this was valuable to you.